Hi, this is Pastor John from Millerville Community Church, and this is Evening Vespers. Tonight's meditation is taken from the book of Psalms 142. I cry aloud to the Lord. I lift up my voice to the Lord for mercy. I pour out before him my complaint. Before him I tell my trouble. When my spirit grows faint within me, it is you who watch over my way in the path where I walk. People have hidden a snare for me. Look and see, there is no one at my right hand, and no one is concerned for me. I have no refuge. No one cares for my life. I cry to the Lord. I say, you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Listen to my cry, for I am in desperate need. Rescue me from those who pursue me, for they are strong for me, too strong for me. Set me free from my prison, that I may praise your name. Then the righteous will gather about me because of your goodness to me. This is a prayer of David. It's a cave prayer. He's at one of the low points in his life, hiding out in a cave. He's very, feeling very alone. He's not the only person throughout the history of the Bible that found themselves hiding in a cave. But David's at a very low point, but he cries out to God. He gives his complaint, tells about his trouble, and cries out for help. I mean, he specifies the help he needs. You know, it's okay to ask for help when you need it. It's okay when you're in a cave moment, when you're deep down and buried underground, and you're not sure what's going to happen next. Tell God your troubles. Give him your complaints. And then cry out to the Lord and say, You are my refuge and my portion in the land of living. When there's no one else who cares, God cares. When there's no one else to help, God is there to help. I hope you remember that. Even in the midst of many helpful people and people wanting to give you advice, I hope you'll remember in your cave prayers that God is always first and the best help you could ever receive. Let us pray. Lord, in the dark moments of our life, cold and alone and dark, in the caves of our lives, we cry out to you. I pray for my brothers and sisters <clears throat> that are in that dark place right now, that you would break through a ray of light that would lead them out into victory, into the glory of the bright day. All they have to do is follow that light out. Lord, I thank you that you hear our complaint, but our fears and our worries, our anxieties, are not based on the reality of God's power and love, but on the fear that this world wants to put in us. Lord, tonight, overcome that fear with your grace, with your presence, with your power, and with the wisdom that comes from knowing the Word of God. Lord, I thank you for that gift tonight, that we might experience hope and perseverance from that hope, and maybe victory that is just around the corner. For joy comes in the morning. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. God is on your side. He's pulling for you. If you would get on his side, you just might win. This has been Pastor John from Millerville Community Church. And I hope you've enjoyed our Vespers tonight and would like to share it with someone else. They can join us every Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Check out our past videos. All the Vespers are there. Until we get together next time, I'm encouraging you to keep the faith and to share it too.
escape the city. Come to God's country. Come to God's people. Come to God's Word. Welcome to Millerville Community Church. We're just a short drive away.